A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 5, verses 43 to 48. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes his sun rise on the bad and the good, and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers and sisters only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. Love your enemies. We do well today to repeat these words to ourselves and apply them to those who treat us badly, who annoy us, whom we find hard to accept, who trouble our serenity. Love your enemies. Do not worry about the malice of others, about those who think ill of you. Instead, begin to disarm your heart out of love for Jesus. For those who love God have no enemies in their hearts. The worship of God is contrary to the culture of hatred. And the culture of hatred is fought by combating the cult of complaint. How many times do we complain about the things that we lack, about the things that go wrong? Jesus knows about all the things that don't work. He knows that there is always going to be someone who dislikes us or someone who makes our life miserable. All he asks us to do is pray and love. This is the revolution of Jesus, the greatest revolution in history. From hating our enemy to loving our enemy. From the cult of complaint to the culture of gift. If we belong to Jesus, this is the road we are called to take. There is no other.